Bruno Fernandes got, got away with that one. Mitrovic punished, and we don't know what length of punishment it will be for, for Mitrovic for, for touching a referee. Both touch an official in the game. So what's the difference? Well, I said at the time, I don't condone what Fernandes did. I, I don't think it's wise, and I said that, I made it very clear, I don't think it's wise to touch a match official. I don't think that's violent, I don't think that's aggressive, I think that's petulant. And he could have easily got a yellow card for that, and I think people would have accepted that. I don't think it's a red card, I still don't think it's a red card offence, but I do think yesterday's is. Yeah. Well, was there a danger by not punishing that incident that, that made it... Uh, possible that something like this could happen because they've looked at that and gone, well, okay, you're, it's all right. You can touch, you can touch an official. You don't get punished for it. <sighs> Rob, every case in refereeing, every decision is judged on its merit. I don't think any player will have seen Fernandez's incident and say, oh, that gives me license to do that. You know, that I, I can't imagine that for one second. Um, I think they're two totally divorced situations in how the player is towards an official. As I say, neither player should have done what they did, but I think one player has gone far, far, far too far. OK. As a former official, a former Premier League and international referee, <laughs> he gets the automatic ban for the 